in this short video I'm going to show you how you can use AI influencer to create tons of AI characters that can be used as influencers on social media where you can create images and videos and tons of product shout outs to help gain more followers, sell more products and sell more shout outs and make money doing all of this. So once you're on the dashboard, you can see all the recent influencers you created over here. You can toggle if you want to keep their profile public or private. If a profile is public, any user can visit a URL and access all their pictures and videos and everything that they have posted on their profile. You can of course also post these pictures on Instagram, TikTok, uh, YouTube, Facebook, wherever you want, but you can also have a public profile page on AI influencers page as well. So we've got another influencer that we have created. She's a travel influencer and all the pictures are AI generated, including the videos that you can see here. But all the videos that you can see and a fitness influencer, with all the videos and images. Now let's go ahead and create our own influencer. To do that, we're gonna click on create influencer and start filling up these forms and give general information, ethnicity, hairstyle, personality, occupation, and clothing. Next, you can choose the hairstyle. Do you want it medium, long? Now here you can choose a personality style, um, decide some of the hobbies. You can decide the first outfit for the dress. And then what AI Influencer is going to do is going to create the first uh, image for you to pick from so you can decide how the influencer is going to look. So we're going to scroll up here. We can read through the prompt it has created in, in, in case you want to add something more, if you want to remove something. But most in, in most cases, you don't really need to do any of that. Now, you can also give their username if they have a Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. So you can put those in, on their profile. All these links will show up so that you know they can get more followers on all of them. So let's try and create two of these influencer variations and we'll pick one to be our real influencer. Right, so as you can see, we've got two variations created. We can pick either one of these. Now, when you mouse over them, you can view the image in uh, in a bigger form. You can set the influence, set this image as the influencer image, so this will become the character. Or you can add more object, enlarge the object, or improve details if you want to do that. But let's click on this. So we selected this character as our Mary Jo. Now. Right over here, what you can do is you can set the profile as public so other users can see it. So you can rent or share your influencers with other. Um, if you click on these three dots up here, you can edit it, add a knowledge base so you can add information uh, to the users from a website, from a files, or you can type more data manually uh, to teach your influencer, give it more information, more uh, knowledge about a particular niche that you're trying to create, right? So for example, if you're creating a, a health and fitness influencer, you can give it information about health and fitness and workout. And then you can also create an embed code, which you can embed on your website or lease it to other users. Now what this embed code is going to do is gonna also go, not only going to show their profile, but it's also going to let them chat with the influencer. So we go here. And of course, you can upload more influence or information uh, to the knowledge base to have a better conversation. Then you can embed this on your own website or other people's website and, you know, rent it out. The next step would be to check out the gallery. So in the gallery, what you can do is you can see all the images and videos that we have created about Mary Jo or a different influencer. You can create multiple influencers. You can see all the images and videos that you have created. Now, moving on to the important part, content creation. So content creation, you can create one, two, three, four, four different kinds of images. So let's start with the first one, create image. Right here, we're gonna select our influencer. We're gonna select uh, the action, let's say, um, sitting, full body, clothing could be, yeah, formal shirt, and let's do this. Accessories could be um, a hat or a cap. Scene could be gaming desk, 
view could be front and let's try and create two images if I go generate prompt now again you can modify your prompt you can modify a negative prompt if you want but usually it's not needed just click on generate image and AI influencer will start uh, working on the background and start creating those two images for you uh, based on the parameters you have set for your influencers and as you can see a gaming uh, image is created the second one's already almost done uh, what you can do is you can click on view to see uh, in a bigger form or what you can do is you could just add it to the gallery so you click on save to the gallery and it's going to add it to the gallery but again if you want to add another object enlarge an object improve details you can play with these editing features as well now if you like the other one as well you could do that uh, but we're going to stick with the first one now let's try the other one the other one is called create post and what create post does is if you find a pose um, online and you want uh, your, you know your influencer to post pose like what you can do is you can upload a picture of that post so let's say uh, we like this pose about like moon dancing and we want our influencer to post something like that so we're gonna upload that picture and we're gonna select this first picture we want this picture to, to be posing like this we can pick from all these different resolutions optimize for quality let's create one image and let's give it a little bit of a prompt. You don't really need to, but we can give it a little bit. And as you can see, the uh, the pose is created, the image is created again. Of course, you can expand it and view it, or you can just add it to the gallery. Moving on to the face wrap. So what face wrap essentially does, it kind of uh, replicates and tries to imitate what somebody else is posing as. So let's take the first image again. What we're going to do is we're going to find this image of Madonna where she's posing in a certain way. So we, what uh, AI influencer is going to do is trying to create a picture of your influencer to look like uh, the way this image looks like and the way they are positioned, the hair, the style, the clothing and everything. So we're going to again optimize for speed or quality, whichever you want. You can do two images. Again, if you want to describe something, you can do it. It's not necessarily and simply click on generate uh, face wrap and what AI influencer is going to do is going to take the picture of your influencer this one Mary Jo and try and create an image that looks something like this now, as you can see uh, AI has created an image that looks similar to this the way the smile is the way the hairs are on the left and the right you can see there's a lot of imitation being done again it's not going to replicate and copy as it is because then that would be illegal it's going to create something similar so what we're going to do is we're going to pick one of these pictures that we like i think this one looks a lot better like a little bit of red riding hood things so we're going to click on save to gallery now the next feature is clothing so what we can do is if you like a certain piece of clothing and you want your influencer to wear that clothing you can do that as well <laughs> So um, let's try this image and what we're going to do is we're going to put the uh, the Gucci t-shirt that I found uh, online and have the influencer wear something similar. Now this can also be used as a promotional feature where you can charge other clothing brands a sponsored post fee to feature their branding, their clothing uh, on your influencer. So once you've uploaded that, click on next. Now here again, you can... Uh, optimize for speed or quality uh, give it a prompt if you want to it's not necessary and just simply click on generate the cloth on top of the influencer now as you can see um, AI has generated and put on the same uh, jacket a similar version of that jacket on top of the influencer so you can feature that the way you like it now moving on again of course you can do is click on save to gallery it's going to add it to the gallery what you can do next is create videos so you can create multiple kinds of videos first would be a talking head video where you select the influencer you select a video uh, a picture of them and include head movement give it a short script so for example just for demo press we're going to say hey guys welcome back to my channel and we're going to keep the british voice uh, emma we're going to generate the audio we can preview it and if it's good we click on use it now you can also clone your own voice you can record your own voice if you don't have a sample to upload and you can pick from all the previous voices that you have created now once that all is done you simply click on create video and the influencer will start creating a talking head video for you to use
And as you can see, the video is created with lip sync and head movement, and you can add this to your gallery as well. Next up is an advanced video creator. What you can do is you can create presentation style video by mixing and merging lots of different images and uh, different video clips. So you can pick all of these, all of these, and you can select all these images. And then if you want to create a 16 to 9 or 9 to 16, you can click on that and create a video. And then you can customize that video by adding more video clips, more images, more text different background, different layers, different audio, different voiceover, transitions, animation, intros and outros, voiceover, watermark, whatever you want. So it's a slide-based editor, so you can create different kinds of videos using this as well. And then the uh, last video option that you can create is an AI-generated video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click, uh, pick our um, influencer, and then let's say we want her to be dancing a little bit, right? So we're gonna give it a little prompt, dancing in the park right i'm going to click on generate video so what this is going to do is going to take this image and animate it in a way that the influencer would look like she's dancing and as you can see the video is created and you can see it's a dancing video it looks super realistic really really good and what you can do is click on save to gallery now next what you can do is you can create if you want to create a longer video you can create multiple of these videos and what you can do is you can merge them together to create a longer video and add that to the gallery. Now, the final feature, the product shout out feature is exactly where the money is at. So what product shout out feature essentially does is it lets you feature a product that's been uh, held or around one of the influencers that you've created. So for example, in this feature, what we wanna do is we wanna use this product, a toothbrush, and we wanna feature that. So we're gonna, Pick a style, so it's let's say sitting down, body would be full body. Uh, let's do a formal gown. And let's do a dress and heel accessories. We could do anything, sunglasses, watch, we could do scene. Um, office is fine, view could be front view. Let's create one image and generate a prompt. Now, what product generation would do is gonna create the pose first. It's gonna create this image based on these parameters first. And then once you pick that picture, if you feel that picture is perfect, next up we're gonna add the product um, with, the, uh, with the image. Now as you can see the image is generated, what we're gonna do is click on these three dots and pick the proceed to product edit feature, which is gonna take us to the editor where we can modify and edit the image in a lot of different ways. And as you can see, the image is loaded and the product is featured. So what we can do is we can drag the product here, increase the size a little bit, and position it right on the desk, right over here, a little bit bigger. And then just make it look like, you know, it's part of the desk and then we can add more headlines. Only the best or whatever headline you want to add you can add more text change color move it around um, match it whatever you want to do you can modify it the way you want it and then once you're satisfied with it simply click on save and the image will be saved so this could be a product feature where your smaller and larger businesses can reach out to you to feature their product with your influencer and that's about it so you can go back to mary joe's gallery you can see all the images and pictures and videos and everything that we have created so far right over here and you can also see all the videos that have been created now what you can do is whatever you want you can click on this and you can click on post on social right inside and then you can publish this image on all these different social media platforms and you can schedule it for whatever date and time or whatever time zone you want and have it published uh, on the social media platform, generating thousands of followers, helping you build a following and email list, letting you promote any product and service, letting you promote other businesses and their products and services, and also getting paid to do product and services feature shout outs on your Instagram, on your TikTok, on your YouTube, on your Facebook pages. So there's a lot you can do. The sky is the limit with AI influencers.